In the last lecture, we looked at delete. In this lecture, we're going to be looking at clear. But then, if we're going to clear, I just want to state uh, one thing you can also do with uh, delete. They can also do with clear. Clear is actually uh, removing all the item in a list. But then, we can also use a delete to do similar thing. Let's have a list of items one. Okay. All right. As you can see, the items there one, two, four, five, six, six. Okay. I can actually delete all the item in this list by basically doing del then a, then I'll slice all the item. Hitting green print a. As you can see, the whole item in the list is gone. So um. I'm going to go back again to create that same list. Okay, let me just use a, a stain to add an item to the list again. All right. All right. Let's print A. Sorry. All right, we can have we can see we have a list of one, three, four, five, six, eight. Now, if I want to use clay to cl remove all the item, because like I said, clay is using removing all the item in a list. You just uh, remove all the item at a time. But you can see that you can also use the list uh, delete to remove the items. But then now you have to slice. You have to get a particular range. For me, using column is that uh, using column with the delete a. In bracket in square bracket column is that I I want to pick all the items in the list so that was why I was able to delete all the item in the list so but if I want to use clear like I just created a new list a where I have um I just extended the list a where I added new items one three four five six and eight if I want to use clear to remove all the item I just need to use to do all I need to do is a dot clear uh, because this method all right now printing back A again. As you can see, we'll now remove the whole item in in the list using clear. So you can use the list to remove item from a list and also remove all the item in the list based on the fact that you have to be able to slice all the item that are in the list completely. Then otherwise, if you don't want to necessarily bug your head in using slicing, you just use clear to remove it. But one more thing before we look at the next uh, list function. Let's actually check uh, if we can be able to capture the items that have been deleted or delete removed from the list um, using clear. Let's go further again to extend extend a and add new items right now i'm going to use list to and uh, topo to add and i'm going to have 90 80 70 60 50 40 okay and print a all right we'll have a fresh list now not really a fresh list per se we'll just add a new item to an existing list that was empty but you actually find that we've used clear to remove them so let's Create a variable b and say a dot clear. Okay, let's print b and see if actually, as you can see, none. So it means that it doesn't also capture. It doesn't return back the the ob the item you deleted from the list. So if if you want to capture that, obviously so far, pop is the only one that can be able to help you. To do that so in the next one we'll look at insert